there was a point at the end of one of our meetings, our council meetings, when I remember all of us being together and and someone said, now is the time that we live for the world we wish to see. When we live for the world we wish to see. And something about that phrase was very powerful for me. Um, somehow affirming that we are capable now of living in the world that we wish to see. And, and that phrase is a call for each of us to find our integrity with how we live, how we love, how we work. Each of us is going to find our own way with that. There's no, I don't believe now, any one solution to climate change, but there are many solutions. Some of them technological, some of them involve expertise, and some of them are solution of doing deep inner work to, to see the truth of who we are as part of this journey that somehow who we are on this planet matters. And, and some of it is the work of compassion, of developing a fierce, compassionate heart that loves thoroughly and protects what it loves. So living for the world that we wish to see can be as simple as waking up and every morning and developing a more mindful perspective on the day. Thinking about the impact of our life on the planet and our particular life on the planet and thinking about what we can do to raise our voices as spokespeople for the wild things that cannot speak for themselves. Um, and that being said, also finding the ability to listen more deeply to those wild things, to, to find the wisdom in the natural world, to listen to it for its teachings on how to live, to listen to native wisdom, indigenous wisdom, to listen to our own bodies, our animal bodies, to see what they have to say about how we should live. The mind has so many ideas. We've listened to the mind for centuries, our intellect, and in some ways the, the intellect with <laughs> run amok has caused some of this issue. Um, but I don't think the intellect is going to get us out of this. I think the body and the body's wisdom will get us out of this. I think nature's wisdom could get us out of this, could move us in a better direction. I think the wisdom of indigenous peoples, people who live close to the earth, people who live in small communities and tribal communities have something to say about this issue about how to live, love, and grow in community that could bring us to a saner place. I think now is a time when we need to turn our attention to the quieter voices that we have not heard. 